I am saying that sometimes it is hard to work with white people because they think that something made it okay, but it was really a microaggression. This is why we kill people in video games to de stress. Because of shit like this. Unreal. I'm from the future. Subscribe to me if you want to live. Welcome back, free thinkers. We have a very interesting situation here. In the gaming world, apparently Gamergate 2 is trending on Twitter. I am a lifelong gamer, been gaming since I was four years old, uh, but I don't know what the first Gamergate was. So if you guys do not mind, fill me in in the comments. Whoever knows what the heck was going on with that. But this lady, Danny Lananders, uh, who is, okay, says a non-binary game developer. He was hired by Cliffhanger Devs to create a game based on Marvel's Black Panther. Problem is, she's massively racist against white people. I'm not going to try to convince you. I'll just play the clip. I have a team of 21 right now uh, for Validate. It's a pretty big team. It's a crazy big team for indie games. But who is your team? Validate has a team of mostly people mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. Um, I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. And I know the best way for an environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. Um, and I'm not saying that white people in the industry are creating safe, unsafe environments. I'm not saying that. That is not what I'm saying. I am saying that sometimes it is hard to work with white people because they think that something made it okay, but it was really a microaggression. And no one wants to deal with that while they're trying to make a game that they love. This person has set up a team on this indie game project with 21 plus her and has exclusively made it a DEI team with no white people whatsoever on purpose because she's threatened by their microaggressions. That is insane. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing you could even say. And this is why games suck so much. This is why entertainment sucks so much because you have crazy people like this Danny chick. And then the people at the very top pushing it and funding it and enabling it. When they say go woke, go broke, it's because you have people putting money and time and energy and staff into projects like this, and you know that game is gonna suck. You just absolutely know that game is gonna be awful. So I just hope that they learn from this. I hope the backlash is enormous. You guys know, I play lots of games. I stream lots of games. I stream on Rumble because I get in trouble here. That's its own can of worms, but this is what we're dealing with. And if we're gonna come out the other side of it and entertainment's gonna come back and be awesome again, this has to be exposed. So please like the video, share it, whatever, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we just gotta keep getting this kind of crazy whatever stuff out in front of people. But seriously, what's with the rest of this is Gamergate 2. Ian Miles Chong says Danny worked for Sweet Baby Inc. from 2022 to 2023. The rot runs deep in the video game industry, which is becoming a second home for people who love illegal, racist hiring practices that disadvantage whites and Asians. Cliffhanger Games is an EA game studio. They need to be taken to task for racial discrimination. Yeah, this is straight up illegal. Minimum, they need to be boycotted, whatever this garbage game is, and then legal action should be taken because imagine you, you have every qualification, tons of experience, and you just don't get the job because the non-binary crazy person is afraid of your microaggressions.